Okay, welcome back to Shades TV. This is uh, Brian Takumi. I hope I pronounced it right. Yep, Brian, welcome to Shades TV. This is our Shades community. So tell us a bit about Oakley and, and, uh, and what your job is in, uh, at Oakley. My specific job, I head up a division we call the Graphics Kitchen. And basically what it does is um, the conceptual basis for seasons um, in terms of what the brand's going to look like, in terms of graphics across all product categories from eyewear to goggles to footwear to some apparel projects and basically plan out what we're going to look like for a year. Um, in terms of some things that about what Oakley's about, one of the big things is our point of differentiation, especially when you get into the eyewear and the hard goods, has really been a technological performance um, invention based things that we could own and capitalize on. So when you get into frames, lenses, things like that, besides the design, which is all done in-house here in the um, California headquarters, the other thing is a lot of the materials are produced here, frames are produced here, lenses are coated here, and we like to own a lot of that proprietary stuff ourselves. How long have you been uh, working for Oakley for now? Uh, actually, this month it'll be 13 years. It's a long time. Yeah. You see a lot of changes? Uh, it's obviously changed a lot from even in those 13 years, this year is actually Oakley's 35th year anniversary, yeah. even in the time I've been here, which when I got here, it still seemed very grassroots to our merging with Luxottica to now becoming a much more global company and for the future fo focusing more on how we're going to grow globally than just here in the U.S. Well, we at uh, Shades, we've been probably selling your product close to 25 years now, so we were actually one of your first if not your first eyewear stockist in Australia. And uh, we've seen a lot of changes and uh, always a lot of innovative product that comes out of, uh, out of Oakley. It seems to uh, be that Oakley likes to reinvent the wheel in a lot of ways. Yeah, we always like to, you know, as trends go, there's always the importance of being very trend relevant. But at the same time, we always like to, even in just, you know, besides us owning the technologies and things in our frames, we always try and add some type of ownership to the design that we can give as Oakley versus just you know taking someone else's frame and making an exact replica and putting an O on it. We always look just for little details in terms of the sculpture of a frame and just design details that give it that next extra element of uh, design that we like to own. Oakley is always very distinctive. Yeah. <laughs> in uh, some of your famous frames that uh, probably were made, made famous was the over the top yeah. back in 2000 the Olympics. Yeah. That was probably the most, uh, one of the most talked about, most seen glasses we had done in terms yeah. of uh, getting hype at the Olympics and standing out. And just, that was really definitely to just show that different thought process behind Oakley and just, you know, trying to do things different. That actually worked though. That actually yeah, fit. it actually got a lot of hype out there. Yeah. And the other one that uh, was probably made quite famous was the, uh, your Titaniums, your, uh, your Romeos, your Juliets. Yep, x metals still a big yeah. thing for us. Uh, that is a completely proprietary process, even though it's just, you know, it's titanium. Lots of companies have titanium, but the way we make that x metal is very proprietary to Oakley in our own specific uh, process that, for molding, um, is something no one else can do. <laughs> At and least in eyewear, so. And no one else does. And no one else does. Brian, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us on, uh, on Shades TV and to our Shades community. Thank you. We wish you well. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Welcome to uh, Shades TV and uh, hello to our Shades community out there. Hello, boys and girls. Um, I'm the uh, program manager for RX, Men's RX Frames, and uh, uh, I'm not that upset. I'm all right. It's okay. You're how long have you been with uh, Oakley for? I've been with Oakley a total of uh, almost six years. Fantastic. And what's your primary uh, position? What, 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 what do you actually do? RX I take care of the men's RX uh, prescription line. So um, I basically uh, generate the collection. So we, I, I communicate with, with the team internally and externally, um, globally, domestic, um, making sure that we, we get to the market what, what our sales staff needs the numbers and that includes you know um, that includes design direction includes um, project management uh, generally uh, across the whole whole collection and um, from A to Z so that's until it's to the market and making sure that we follow the trend as well and do you find it inspiring do I find it inspiring yes um, Seeing uh, new product coming out, you're working with designers all the time, and uh, 
seeing new designs coming through and uh, new technology and new materials. It's inspiring. Uh, I, really, it's my dream job. This is what I've been doing since um, um, I think the first pair of glasses I made by hand when I was 15 at, uh, in Germany in a little shop where I took an apprenticeship as an optician. And, uh, so when I was 16, I you know, was already working full time on this stuff. Um, it's my dream job and uh, definitely being inspired. And look, must, and working, look working around uh, Oakley seems to be a, a fantastic environment to work in. It seems very, you know, everyone seems quite relaxed, but quite, uh, you know, they all do their work and uh, it, it seems like a good place to work in. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best place to work. I, I love it. Fantastic. It's great. Big, big, big team though, I need to always mention that. Um, this is, it's the people that make it worthwhile that, to come here. It's not only my team and the guys that I work with, also of course guys like you guys, you know, um, that, that represent Oakley out there in the world. So it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely. It's a great product. I mean, coming here for the first time after, uh, even for us, you know, we've been selling Oakley now for 23 years. And I've seen it from the beginning to now. And uh, the way Oakley has grown over the years, is, it's just amazing. It's, it's just an inspiring company. So congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Jörg, thank you very much. Again, commiserations for Germany. <laughs> but uh, we'll move on from that and <laughs> thank you. we'll see you again. Thanks for joining us.